Hi, I'm Andy. This video, we're going to talk about how to diagnose a failed control board on a GE side-by-side -side refrigerator. The symptoms for this particular test would be that your front touch panel has no response and there are no lights. The tools that you'll need for this job are a quarter-inch nut driver for disassembly and a multimeter for testing voltages. Let's get to work. Okay, the first thing we're going to check is for voltages getting sent from the main control board, which is behind this panel. This is behind your refrigerator uh, near the lower right. To remove it, you'll need a quarter inch nut driver to remove these two bolts at the top and one at the bottom. Once that's removed, go ahead and set that aside. Now, please be careful. Your refrigerator still is plugged in and there is a live voltage here. So be careful not to touch anything on the board with your bare hands. Only use your meter leads to do the touching. For this test, you'll set your meter to volts DC. It has a V with a solid line and a dotted line over it. The plug that we'll be dealing with is at the top left of this control board. Mine has five wires coming into it. The plug that you're looking for has a red wire at that number two pin. So two from the left, one, two, and it should be red wire. Should have a black one right next to it as well. Go ahead and insert your red lead where the red wire is and the black lead where the black wire is. You should be getting between 12 and 14 volts. Now, if you are getting 12 and 14 volts, your control board is doing its job as far as sending voltage to that front touch panel. If you are not getting between 12 and 14 volts between those two pins, that is a failed control board, failed main control board behind your refrigerator. However, if you are getting between 12 and 14 volts here, we'll move on to the next test of the touch panel in front of your refrigerator. Now, at this point, you've confirmed that you have appropriate voltage at the main control board behind your refrigerator, but we need to confirm that that voltage is arriving here to the touch panel at the front of the refrigerator. To do this, you will have your refrigerator plugged in because we'll be testing live voltages. Also, you'll have to take this board off, and to do that, take three fingers and place it on either side. Place your thumbs here, push up with your fingers as you're pulling towards you gently, That'll pull the bottom of the board out and allow you to access the plugs on the back side. Let me pull you in a little closer so we can see the wires. Now that you have access to the plug, we'll be able to test the voltages. As I mentioned, we confirmed that we have voltage at the main control board, but now we need to check it here at this dispenser board. Now to do this, we'll be working with the plug that has six wires coming from it. The number two pin over, so this is one, this is two, should have a red wire coming into it. Touch your red lead there. And there should be a black wire directly next to it. Go ahead and touch there. It should be receiving between 12 and 14 volts DC. If you are getting voltage between 12 and 14 volts, yet the board still does not respond to touch and you have no lights, you have confirmed that you have a bad touch panel and that would need to be replaced. If you do in fact have between 12 and 14 volts at the main control board behind the refrigerator, but not here at this plug, you have an issue with the wiring between this plug and your main control board. However, if you have voltage here between the two pins that I mentioned, between 12 and 14 volts, but your control panel, your touch panel here at the front of the refrigerator does not respond or does not light up, it's a bad touch panel and you would need to replace that. Well, there you go. I hope that helps in your diagnosis with your bad control board if your front touch panel is not working. 
If you do have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments. And if you have not already done so, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot.